Hello everyone. We're going to be telling you a story about a story. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you about our Failinge Family YouTube channel. During the first COVID-19 lockdown, we decided to make a YouTube channel where different members of our Failinge family could share our ideas and our experiences. One of the projects we worked on was about bilingual stories. These stories brought together people from different backgrounds. For example, we uploaded our bilingual story, The Six Blind Men and an Elephant, originally told in English and Hindi. But since then, it has been translated into 13 different languages by our pupils, their parents, and our present and former staff. It has been viewed by thousands of people around the world. But the story I really want to mention today is called One Sheet. Originally, we uploaded it in Mirpuri and English. But then, one of my students decided to translate it into Hebrew. We always check the quality of our contents before we upload anything on our channel. So, I spoke to some contacts who knew people who spoke Hebrew. They couldn't understand Muhammad Al Zain's translation properly, as they thought that it's a different dialect of Hebrew. So, they sent it to different places in the world. However, I still didn't get a definite answer. Therefore, I asked Dr. Abu Rashid for help. Now, she's going to tell you more about it. So, I knew people who spoke Hebrew, based in Jerusalem, so I sent it to those people and one person got back to me and he said that he understood what the story was about, that it was clear, but that the dialect was slightly different because he himself only spoke Hebrew as spoken where he lives. He said it was a great initiative, but he said it would be best to check with people who speak Hebrew living in the UK as that was clearly closer to the dialect as used by the people in the school. So then I sent it to a close neighbour from a community in Manchester who speak Hebrew. My friend was so overwhelmed and moved that a people from Rochdale with little previous connection to their community wanted to tell the story in Hebrew. Her eyes welled up and she said, leave it with me and I will make sure that it is listened to and heard and checked so you can feel happy that it's uh, understandable to the other communities. She sent it to many people in many different countries and the story always ended up coming back to Manchester. A Hebrew speaker in Manchester finally heard it and she said it was wonderful and so clear. She then wrote the story out in her own Hebrew script to make sure that all people could follow exactly what the people is saying. When I asked Muhammad Al Zain the reasons why he has decided to translate this story into Hebrew, this is what he said. The reasons why I did Hebrew because in order to create a bond of hope between the people of Israel and Palestine, also Judaism and Islam. The culture is very interesting and I also want to visit. It is also similar and also a sister language of Arabic. At Failage Park High School, we talk about sending out ripples of hope. We think Mohammed El Zain has sent out ripples of hope. Let's see how far these ripples of hope travel. And think about what you can do to create your own ripples and to bring people hope. <laughs>